Bruchim habayim b'shem Adonai. Welcome in the name of the Lord, my special YouTube friends. I call you my YouTube friends because I'm kind of a dinosaur. I mean, I'm like you know, 66 years old almost, and you know, YouTube is kind of new for me. And you guys are like our new special audience for me because for so many years we've done television and radio, and so YouTube's newer for us. The reason I started focusing on YouTube is to reach younger people. I'm an evangelist. I literally heard the voice of the Spirit speak to me over 20 years ago, totally unexpectedly. I was actually in a hospital waiting room. A relative of mine had had a serious medical emergency, and I was just in the waiting room, just waiting to see how she was doing. And while I was standing in that waiting room, I literally heard the voice of the Spirit say to me, you're an evangelist. And it just settled me because I was pastoring a church at the time. And I thought, well, what does this mean? Does this mean I'm not supposed to be pastoring a church? Because I just heard the Lord say to me, you're an evangelist. At the time, I thought an evangelist was somebody that went to street corners and handed out gospel tracts. So when the Lord said to me, you're an evangelist, I thought, does that mean I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life on street corners handing out gospel tracts? maybe wearing a, a sign that says turn or burn. You know, that was a humorous joke, but I mean, that was my concept, what an evangelist was. But there was no mistaking, I heard the Lord clearly speak. As I began to pray about an, what, it, what is an evangelist and research it and even looked at the etymology of the word, I realized that an evangelist is somebody that proclaims the good news. That's what the word gospel means. It means good news. So I am on earth as a messenger of Yahweh, a messenger of the Lord, to proclaim the good news that God gave us through His Son. And the good news of Jesus is relevant for every generation. Because Jesus is not only the most ancient of men, he is also the most contemporary human being on the planet. So we need to reach young people that are consuming content on YouTube. Now I share that with you because it cost me money to be able to do this. I know as soon as somebody that calls himself an evangelist brings up money, all of a sudden it's like, you know, you get a bad you know, paradigm of what that person is or, or what they're doing. But beloved, it really does cost money. That's just, that's just life. I mean, if you want to get in your car and drive somewhere, that costs money, right? If you turn the lights on at home, that costs money. The air conditioning, it all costs money. Everything that I'm doing, friends, costs money. Jesus taught that we should financially support those people that are going out preaching the gospel. Jesus said, give and it will be given back to you, press down good measure into your lap. And he said, we should support such men that go out for the sake of the truth. He said that through the apostle John. And so I wanna humbly ask you today for your financial support. Beloved, in making a financial sacrifice to this ministry unto the Lord, not only will you be pleasing God by giving Him an offering that's coming from your heart, but you'll also make it possible for others, especially in your generation, to be reached. I wanna humbly ask you today, would you partner with us at Discovering the Jewish Jesus? And most importantly, would you partner with the Lord in spreading the gospel around the world and in so doing, prepare the way for Jesus' return. There's a information at the bottom, a description at the bottom of this video that'll take you right to a place where you can give or you can go to discoveringthejewishjesus.com. Thank you very much.